No! No, 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 no. Nakba, take this back. Take this back. Think about what you just did. Think about what you're doing, Nakba. Could you not? You had some good chapters. I even convinced Sundown Riders, shout out to Sundown, go check out his channel. I even convinced him that the previous chapter, not 330, 329, was actually a good chapter. He didn't like it. I convinced him that it was actually good writing. I was starting to get people back on your side. I was starting to say, you know, yes, there's been some flaws. Yes, there's been some writing and stuff, but these have been problems for a long time. Let's look forward to the future. Let's look at this chapter. Let's look at each individual chapter and realize, you know what? He might have learned from his mistakes. He might have ha still have some flaws that he has to deal with because he set them up previously when he was, I don't know, delusional under the weather, whatever. But now he started to go on a good streak. Fantastic artwork, making up for a lot of problems, and then just nothing actually being detrimental. Nothing being hacked. Nothing being bullshit. Then, this chapter came early, and I thought the Raws came early. I didn't even, I, I barely even got a chance to check the Raws out before the translation dropped. And I checked this. I checked this. I mean, ah, oh, I can't even give you guys a proper behind the bar reviews introduction because this chapter has me so goddamn mad. I, I don't want to have a 50 minute video just about ranting about how he fucked this up. He did this like, oh, Nakaba, what are you doing? I was trying to help you. Oh, is it the goatee? Does, does he not like the goatee? Is that the reason? Nakaba, is that the reason? Is that the reason that this chapter was basically hot garbage, smoldering, and not just in the, your backyard or something. I'm talking about like in your basement where your AC unit is broken, your windows are nailed shut, and you can't even air that shit out. You have no candles, you've been drinking too much, so you can't go down to the store, which is two miles away, to go even get some goddamn air fresheners. That's the level of problems with this chapter 331. Oh my God, Nakaba, what did you do? What did I do to deserve this? I've been trying to help you. I haven't been this salty since chapter 300. I have not been this salty since then. Go back and watch all my reviews, guys. Watch every single one of them from 300 on. Tell me which one I was the most salty in. 300. Not 299. No, 300. How? And the sad thing is, I'm going to have to sit here. I'm going to have to sit here and explain this to you guys. And I'm not, I'm not insulting you guys by that, but I actually have to explain why. As though it isn't goddamn well obvious as to why this chapter sucks. And the art's good. But the chapter itself is bad. Like, oh. Alright. Let's get into it, shall we? Let's get into this. So, no cover page. I mean, right off the bat, I thought something was off with that. No cover page. That maybe there is one, was translated or scanned, but automatically I'm like, this is odd. So, at the end of the last chapter, we get a badass moment. It's fairy tale ass, but the Seven Deadly Sins are like, let's do this against the Demon King, who looks... Amazing. He looks good. He's well drawn. The art is stellar. All right. They're going head first, head strong, the seven of them. Let's go do a combo attack. We were all expecting it. It does happen. On paper, that sounds fine. It's the way they go about it. Oh, oh, Nelly. Because they all rush him. And it's generic shit. Like, let's go, everyone. Yeah, friendship. Yeah, fight. Demon King, very... Shonen, Naraku, Inuyasha. This was done back in the 80s, man, in the 90s. Demon King is is just cookie cutter as it comes. Uh, but he's just like, you fools, you can't stop me. Death zero or whatever, or zero's death or something like that. He basically engulfs them. It looks like a form of hellblaze, like darkness. And it's 
I guess it's this ball of where I'm going to blow you out of existence. You're going to slowly rot away in this death bubble of existence sort of idea. Bleach called. They want their asking uh, death ball deluxe back, Demon King. But, okay, whatever. So, he's attacking them. Okay. And we see, basically, him saying, like, huh, you know, you can't defeat a god I feel, nor pain, nor fear. He goes, I will slowly rot you out of existence. There was no way the seven of you could topple such a mountain. And Escanor, only saving grace of this chapter, only saving grace. Well, I shouldn't say that. There is one other moment I don't mind. But... Saving Grace here with his Escanor, ever the badass, going, humph, cruel son by the looks of it. It doesn't look very impressive because of the faraway shot. Nakaba, you could have done better here with all your stellar art. Why didn't you make this look better? But he shoots out a cruel son out of this death zero thing and basically says, I've toppled mountains bigger than you before breakfast. Boom. I'm like, you know? We literally saw what he used to do to try to control the grace before he got it under control by fighting Meliodas every day. He literally turned a mountain range into dust every single day. This man was turning that shit. So, I mean, that is a bit of a saving grace because I'm like, okay, Escanor still being Escanor. He's not being taken out by this stuff. But then, okay, so everybody gets a line. This Death Zero shit is encompassing them. They're all like, ugh, like being pushed down. Similar to what uh, happened when Meliodas basically went Hellblade, boom, against Esteros and Zeldris, pushed him to the ground and said, sit down. You know, that's basically what the Demon King is doing right now. Fact of the matter is, he should not have this much power. This makes no sense, because if he has the equivalent, he clearly... Escanor was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the last form of Zeldris Demon King. After three or four Frieza-level transformations, right? If he was so powerful by using the land of Britannia, then why would he ever need Meliodas or Zeldris? Why would he have gone to Zeldris' body in the first place? Why wouldn't he have just went, when he was Ten Commandments, almost dissolved, and Cusack went, I got a great idea, guys. Before that, why didn't he just went boom and do that from the get-go? Like, oh, it's painful to see this. Like, that's just the first problem. Here comes the real, the real problem, ladies and gentlemen, because right here, here's where everybody gets a line, right? Bonds, after Escanor does his manly shit, everybody does a fairy tale thing, right? Even Bonds is a little, eh, I don't really get it. But uh, everyone's like, oh, yeah, I, I don't like fighting because I'm Deanne and I'm no good at it, but I'll, I'll, I'll fight you. And King's like, well, my lady says so, so, I mean, I must help and stuff. Like, King, would you get off your high horse? Like, everything, because Deanne is so annoying everything king says to back up her claim makes him feel more fairy tale by the minute and it's getting annoying gother as well gother and um then meliodas yells merlin and merlin just basically goes whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. she said we're all gonna have to rest for a week after this and boom merlin pulls out a final fantasy rope limit breaker Merlin is playing Final Fantasy while the rest of us are reading a manga. Merlin has caused so many issues with power scaling in this series. And she's been nothing but a blight on the series since after season one. However, there was a way around this. We've seen what we can do thus far. I don't agree with a lot of what she can do. They changed the definition of an infinity, for one thing. However, there are some major, major problems with this. Instead of Limit Breaker, and at first I thought, okay, okay, when I first read it, I was still mad. I'm like, Merlin is going to pull another spell, some ultimate top tier magic out of her hat of hacks bullshit, and everyone's going to accept it, it'll be okay. Something that she could have done for arcs before, arcs, not chapters, 
entire arcs before she could have done this. And uh, but at first I thought, okay, maybe it's just the translation, and this is power amplify. Power Amplify, I can get behind. That's just a standard spell. It, it's like full counter, doubling a spell. It's okay. You just temporarily power somebody up. Even One Piece has that, right? With the Bello Betty and her flag power and stuff, her devil fruit, right? You can empower people. You can make them stronger. Power Amplify. Okay. Okay. No big deal. And at first, that's what I thought. But as I read these translated attack names... Trillion Dark was first, right? They all break out because of Limit Breaker. Boom! They all go Limit Break. I'm thinking, okay, it's just Power Amplify. Don't get too upset. Then, we get all the attack names. Attack names we've never seen. Ultimate Attack of Bond. Nope. It's called Crazy Rush. Ultimate Attack of Escanor. Nope. We get Final Prominence. Okay. Gother. Killer Switch. Spear of Judgment from King. Jet Hammer from Deanne. Trillion Dark is the only one I recognize. And that was some, that was the thing that destroyed the Demon King the first time. So, I had to conclude. Even if the translations are a little off, like with their wording and the way they're supposed to be, there are too many wrong. Maybe Spear of Judgment by King, maybe that was a thing and I missed it. Maybe I had a different translation and now it is... Oh yeah, well, Spear of Judgment is what he used against uh, the Avalon in, uh, you know, chapter this. Okay, so there's one. But Gother hasn't ever used Killer Switch or a version of it. Especially what Merlin calls it. Jet Hammer, I mean, it, it looks basic enough, but it's still not a technique I've ever heard. I've watched the anime up to date... I've read the whole manga, and I've never seen that. Then we get this crazy rush from Bond, which is, it's not Hunter's Fest, it's not anything else. Final prominence, I know that's new. So, she she did it. It's not Power Amplify. It's not a mistranslation. She pulled out a, I'm going to superpower you and give you all your limit breaks. Techniques you never, by the looks of it, ever pulled off or could do on your own without the Limit Breaker spell. And that was never useful for 300 plus chapters before this. And we haven't even gotten to the best part, ladies and gentlemen. We haven't even gotten to the best part of this bullshittery. Because... Guess what happens after this? Okay. So they combine this attack. So like we all thought. Combo, seven daily sins attack. And it does happen. Spoilers. It destroys the Demon King. Go figure. Merlin's contribution to this six-part attack is her seventh is to basically power amplify. It's called power ampli unity something to like converge them and make them more like the techniques actually have better chemistry by the sounds of the technique like unity. But it's power amplify. That's basically what it is. It combines all the attacks, makes them into one attack, makes it strong. Whatever. I'm okay with that part. I really am. Like, I can see, like, okay, uh, everyone's got these different elements. Fire, water, earth, air, you know, I'm and darkness, all that stuff. Uh, physical, non-physical, right? Her technique, her contribution is to combine them all into one singular attack. That spell, I can get behind. That is okay, and I don't really see a point in the story where it would have been so much more useful, right? Like, yeah, you could argue it, but it's not so in-your-face bullshit, right? The problem is, literally on the same page she pulls this, the Demon King. The Demon King has the goddamn gonads. I don't care how big he is. I don't care what size mountain he's pretending to be. He's got balls bigger than his whole form, stating... Have you imbeciles, insects, whatever he calls them, you fools, have you forgotten about my power, the ruler? <sighs> no, we didn't. But knock upon you did, you fucking loser villain. Because, no, the ruler 
is everyone's so convinced that it's magical attacks. That was Zeldris only. The Demon King, we know from Purgatory, physical, non-physical, didn't matter. Ruler was activated. Ruler was OP as shit. It was broken. It was some Aizen Soskate level of broken. But at least Bleach handled Aizen better than Taizai has handled this OP broken ability. Because the Demon King is actually... Like, are you trolling me, Nakaba? Are you seriously going to tell me, have you forgotten about my ability the Ruler? The entire time you have been Demon King Zeldris, you have forgotten about your ability the Ruler. And it has done jack shit and not helped you one iota. And where is your Demon King the Ruler ability in the mental world? Huh? Like, did... Okay, let me get this straight. The ruler is completely OP in Purgatory. Right? K. Because we saw it. We saw what it did against Bond, Wild, Melios. That ability that the Demon King showed in there is on the level of infinity for Merlin. Because it has not been consistent or done the same thing or even been used properly since then. Since we were introduced to it, it has changed form multiple times. That is a fact, and it hasn't actually even been consistent. It's just, like, no, we didn't forget. You fucking forgot. You forgot to use it, Demon King. You forgot, and now you're going to pull this. Uh, the one golden grace of this chapter, the one golden grace, is that the ruler becomes irrelevant, but the way it becomes irrelevant is such high levels of bullshit. Like, I even have a solution. I have a solution that is still bullshit, but better than this. Is that the solution is, okay, oh, you forgot about my ruler. You know that ability that totally could have won the day? This entire, the whole Demon King Meliodas fight? The entire Demon King Zeldas fight? And even right now, probably could work. Yeah, you remember that thing, right? Like, Ominous Nebula called. Yeah, it didn't destroy the Demon King. Trillion Dark called. Didn't destroy the Demon King. So he can't use... So, let me get this straight. In the mental world, in the soul world, Meliodas can use full counter, Trillia Dark, Zeldris can use Ominous Nebula, etc., but the Demon King can't use the Ruler. Because Trillian Dark uh, worked against the Demon King. Ominous Nebula worked against the Demon King. Okay, okay, so now we're, now we're two for two here, where the Ruler would have been useful and didn't work. Um, and then, of course, the, the physical battles. Bond versus the Demon King and such. I mean, you could argue that's a bit physical, but once again, as we saw in Purgatory, physical magic was only Zeldris. That was like the whole, I am the Demon King's representative. I have a portion, a, a lesser version of the ruler. It's still the ruler, but it's just a lesser version. Demon King Meliodas should have had the whole damn thing. And Demon King Zeldris, whole damn thing. Or at the very least, the 10% version that Zeldris had previously. You're telling me Demon King loads Ten Commandments into himself and all of a sudden Zeldris loses that ability? That makes no goddamn sense. It should be heightened, not gone away. It's his power. And then we have... Okay, so... Gother's new limit break attack, right? It's called Kill Switch or Killer Switch. And as Merlin explains, right after the Demon King boasts, you guys forgot about the ruler. No, you forgot about the ruler. What does he say? Merlin goes, oh, uh, yeah, by the way, uh, Kill Switch isn't actually an attack. It's a nullification of all magical abilities. So your ruler doesn't matter because he used Kill Switch on you. Gother. Gother used Kill Switch, and it gets rid of the ruler. An attack that never existed before that is only prone because of limit break. And how many times Merlin could have put limit break on Gother to win every single battle in this series? I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting for the goddamn reasoning that Nakaba had to do this when I have a better one. A better one. An ability that would have worked. Still bullshit. But could have worked. Anybody remember Absolute Cancel? Absolute Cancel. The ability that we all thought was Merlin's magical power back in the day. Before Infinity and the series went tank. What about that? Why didn't she just combine Absolute Cancel? 
Why invent a new bullshit plot convenience crap for Gother when you already have an established nullify magic spell from a character who is literally in the battle? The one who's actually explaining the nullification of magic. I'm going to have an aneurysm. So, this all happens, right? This all, this all goes to shit, right? Like, this whole chapter, it's just... Sundown, Sundown Riot, if you're watching this, I apologize, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I actually made you like 329. You should have stuck with your original feelings because, you know, this, nothing can make up for this. This is just abysmal. I don't care how good the art is. This is... I'm just, I'm, I'm so mad. I haven't been this mad since chapter 300. I thought I came full circle, but uh, you know what? Because I had this glimmer of hope. I was stupid. I was stupid, and I actually thought Nakaba wasn't going to fuck this up. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry that I got your guys' hypes up, too. I'm sorry that I've been here every week reviewing this series and trying to look at the good side of things. When Nakaba decides, not even just one thing. Like, we have Gother, Killer Switch. We have Demon King remembering that he has the ruler, which is bullshit. Then we have Merlin pulling out a new spell out of her ass that could have been used for the whole goddamn series. This is such shit. And then the rest of the chapter happens. Oh my god. And the worst part is, is that this was cool. Demon King realized he was beat. The attack was coming. So he cries out to his sons one last time. Meliodas goes full counter, shoots it away. And I'm thinking, okay, this won't make up for it. But is Meliodas going to turn evil? But my first thought was, he's going to full counter. And that's what he does. And this was cool. So I thought about this. Demon King basically thinks, ah, ha, 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 you know, you fell for it, you fool, and cuts him down, but of course, Lost Vein comes back. This is how you write battles. This is how you do callbacks to ability. Assault Mo Meliodas using Lost Vein's ability to make multiple copies and do full counter, full counter, do a pinball, a full counter against this ability. Amplify, 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 times two, times four, times eight, times 16, times 32. Even if it doesn't work that way, guys, even if it's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I believe it's actually 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. But either way, he's bing, 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 playing pinball with Lost Vein and this superpowered ability that is going to decimate the Demon King. Even the Demon King realizes it. And Meliodas says, I, I wanted to give you a chance. You know, I wanted to give you a chance, but when I actually full countered it away, that's why he did it. So Demon King's got no one to blame but himself because he did full counter it away. Meliodas wouldn't have full countered it back. Had the Demon King maybe shown some sign of remorse. He didn't. Full counter. Boom, boom, boom. Dead as a doornail. Uh, blows him up. Seven Deadly Sins combo. And then the last part of the chapter is going to get some people hyped. But I'm just done. I'm done. We see Demon King without his helmet. What happened to all his hair he used to have? I don't know. I was convinced. Maybe I looked at the panels wrong. It's so black and dark. Uh, you know, I thought he had hair behind that helmet. You know, so I guess Demon King's bald. Um, we see him without his helmet, purgatory form, talking to Meliodas in his Ten Commandments thing. So I'm curious whether this was supposed to be like a like a combination, like a conversation they had right before Meliodas turned traitor or something that he talked with his father, and now like the battle is over, the Holy War is won. Uh, it, like why is he in his? I, I I just don't care anymore. Whatever. He's in his Ten Commandments gear. This could be a past scene. It could be a forward scene. It could be like melding two scenes together. I don't really give a fuck. People are going to say Meliodas is going evil and stuff because light and darkness, there always must be a balance. I'm like, Mama Hawk's probably going to take over as the new uh, head of Purgatory and stuff since she's clearly the mother of chaos and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Video is running way too long, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Please comment. Please subscribe. My videos aren't like this. If you're new to the channel, I'm sorry. If you're still here, I'm usually very happy. Uh, but I'm 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 just.
I'm just done. I'm done.